This is the Real Eyes Recognized Podcast. Now your hosts, Dustin Gutkowski and UFC fighter Kevin Holland. All right, guys, here we are with the Real Eyes Recognized, and uh, we recognize a lot of things. What do we recognize the most? <laughs> well, we recognize talented individuals. We recognize people's bullshit that we'll call them out on. Here on the show. Ooh, I and like don't that you, one. Yeah, I do too. That was, did you just think of that one? I yeah. Like that. <laughs> and don't you guys ever forget, we're going to have segments of real shit from the shitter, but we're going to leave the shitter out of here. So if you ever hear an occasional flushing sound. We could bring a porta potty in and do an episode in a porta potty. I will not rough. be on that one. It's okay. <laughs> Remote. Remote. <laughs> yeah. And we will be traveling, getting around, right? Taking people out, doing fun things, whatever they like to do. If yeah. they don't like to do anything, I like to do plenty of things. So uh, my man Dustin over here, he loves to do things. We're going to do some things. We're going to go anywhere and everywhere and get the scoop for real talent out there. Yeah. Got to hit the shoe steam. We got to hit everywhere. We got to do it all. Let's go. Well, I got a question. I'm going to start it off. Pink elephant in the room. Are you really retired? Don't fucking play games with us. Are you really retired? I've waited all day to ask this question. Now that we're here, you got to keep it real. You can't lie. So on the real, what, what is it? So I'm retired. All right. So I'm officially retired. From uh, way home, it's, let's be specific because you can say retired from <laughs> the shitter stories. Are we retired from fighting in in, in the in UFC in the octagon? Look, I'm retired from fighting. Like you know, I had a good fight, good payday, had a good run. You know, uh, I see some of the people online. Like obviously, he realizes he'll never get a belt, and it's like that means my little psychedelic trip. I mean, I was wrong. I can't be wrong on a psychedelic trip. I've I've lost coming out to Young Boy. That was my last hope. Never losing coming out the young boy. I mean, like, times are rough for your boy. But I'm really, really happy, like, on the green side. So, all the way around. So, yeah, you know, unless something super duper, like, super duper magical to pop up. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy with the way things are. Maybe so, that could be on uh, the little fight sitting on the side, talking with DC and then one day. But, yeah. Can you imagine being an announcer? That'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, that'd be pretty I cool. would pay the pay per view to see you announce. I, I think know. a lot yeah. of people. Would. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm known for talking, right? I'm so, yeah. Right. So what? And I do a podcast. Right. Yeah. So you're so Kevin McGregor is really retired. He's done. McGregor. He's really. He's, he's, this is in the bluff. I'm McGregor in this thing. Hey, you know I, what I mean? he's done. I saw dude, so many people hit me up. And like, is he really retired? And I'm like, I, I texted him and I was like, Hey, man, is he really retired? And he's like. He gave me a thumbs up, so I was like, well, he's not happy wow. about him retiring, but it means he's really <laughs> retired. I was like, yeah. so what's next? Uh, this, some other business adventures. You know, it's like uh, maybe eventually do a gym thing, you know, get that popping, get that process nice. out, you know. Uh, they say don't do it till you're done fighting. So, if we're done so fighting, here we are. You know, uh, right? yeah. it's a good idea to do it. Uh, maybe one day I could be an actor because everybody thinks I'm Ooh. acting right now. So. I could see you yeah. on the big screen. You know? Yeah. yeah. Kind of movies. Shaft. Yeah, like, thinking. that's the goal. Anything other than that, I mean, that's Maybe cool. Batman? No, just Shaft. Just Shaft. Just 100% Shaft. <laughs> can you dig it? Uh, I can dig it. I can 100% you dig know it. I'm, I'm in. I can see it right now. I mean, I want to remake everything that Samuel L. Jackson did if it's 20 years old. How old is Pulp Fiction? <laughs> Probably 20 years old. I think you should do it, oh, even man. if it's on the cuff. Pulp that would Fiction. Be, that would be yeah. good. Cozy. How old is Pulp Fiction? Can we look that up? Can we get a buy-in? Can we get a fact How? check real quick? Fact, fact check. Yeah. Pulp Fiction. Let's go. So, Jim, I got to hear about this. Where at? Got to keep it here. Got to keep it in Fort Worth. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, so, I said here like we're in Fort Worth. Yeah, right we, we are. 28? <laughs> <enough. laughs> Holy oh, really? shit. Really? 28? No. That's how you know it's a classic, though, because you don't it's even believe how old. How old is it? I feel like that's some bullshit of, like, Kevin retiring. Like, that's fake. <laughs> <laughs> you know? 28. Uh, we're I mean, remaking who, it. Who would I do Pulp Fiction with, though? Oh, hey. Uh. Your guy, Mario Lopez, pays Travolta because of the dance moves. Oh. Nice. Saved by the bell. Mario <laughs> Lopez pays John yeah. Travolta. Yeah. I'm going to have to hit him up, see if he wants to come on here and talk about some Pulp Fiction things. Bro, I want to be in that. Yeah, that'd be nice. I, I'll, I'll play whoever. Hey, did I – Did I I saw something the other day. What's a, what's a Brennan Schwab? Well, was he, he – he thought the whole thing with Jemiah was fake. Yeah, so Brandon Schwab, he's always, like, saying weird stuff. And so uh, I seen him say something that I thought was weird. So then I was like, messages like people. You know what I mean? I guess I, th- I thought it was Shop's page, but I guess it's just people. Yeah, like, I don't know how. I might let nobody run my Instagram. But I will let somebody run my Twitter. You know what yeah. I mean? All the hot girls are on Instagram, so I got to <laughs> keep control of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, like, I messaged them and was like, Yo, what's up with what you said? And they were like, 
oh, this is not Shab. And then I felt kind of dumb. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're like, oh, and I'm yeah. like sitting. Well, on the tell can. him I said. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> I'm sitting on the can, so I'm like at this point in time, I'm already I'm in the can zone. You, can you Facetime? Yeah, I'm like <laughs> just let him know what I said. I'm hitting the Facetime button. No, I'm just playing. Nobody's picking up. You know, I'm sitting trying to put the phone up like this while I'm on the can so they could get good signal. You know, make sure. No, I'm just playing. Uh, but yeah, no, I messaged them. They want me to come on the show, but I think Shab should just come on our show. But if I go on his show, or if he comes on our show, maybe we should just do a co-show thing. But we got to get some boxing rounds in for the little fly stuff he be saying. Ooh, shot. Wait, whoa, whoa. No, MMA, what though. He, he might take me down, and I don't yet. have time for yeah, that Yeah, shit. we're not wrestling. You know I mean? We're yeah, tired. That's, that's why I'm tired, tired that's bro. I don't want to wrestle no more. <laughs> we're not wrestling. Didn't he, hey, did he fight in UFC, though? Wasn't Shab in there? Was he an ultimate fighter? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was football, He was on there, football yeah. And, Pro football, yeah. and then. Uh, uh, yeah, he spent a little time in the UFC. Yeah. Is he, he's a wrestler? Yeah, football. He's got to be. I mean. The boxing. Everybody wrestles when they get hit. Hard. Holy, shit. Yeah, well, that's true, right? <laughs> you get hit, all of a sudden you become yeah. an excellent wrestler. Yeah, or you think you do. So wait, hold on, hold on. I got it. Sometimes Shop. you don't even hit the guy and they wrestle. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's hey, stop talking about that. Uh, don't, don't bring that. Hey, up. Let's, hey, soon. high five. Uh, too soon. Too soon. Yeah, too soon. Yeah, it's no, it's too soon. I'm retired. We can talk about this. <laughs> we can talk. About <laughs> fix my hair. We go. He's grown since then. He's, you know, he's grown. I get it. It's been a while, right? I'm gonna be 30 soon. I gotta grow up. You know? Not quite Pulp Fiction old, but it's there. It's, you know, where's the uh, so Schwab? Hey. Box. Well, hold on, hold on. Is it, where's he at? Is he in Vegas or is he in LA? I think he's in, yeah, he's in Cali. He's in Cali. So, are we taking a trip? Trip yeah, to Cali? Road trip? trip? Yeah. Real road, road trip? trip? Yeah. Is that the thing? Yeah, and box him. Oh. And then, and then we can hit up. We can hit up Freddie Road. See if we can box him there. I'm say, hey, take yeah. the studio on the road, get the Sprinter van, roll out, film the journey. It gets some rounds. Yeah. It gets some rounds. What? What? Would it, three? Three or five? I mean, I'm retired now, so. So you probably can only go three. And he's three. retired. Yeah, so, so three, yeah. three two-minute rounds yeah. and then podcast. I mean, like three two-minute rounds. That's what we said, right? Yeah. Three two-minute rounds, not three three-minute rounds, right? Three two-minute no, rounds. No, I think we have to go two. Okay, yeah, that works for sure, yeah. And then on the podcast, on his sh- on his yeah. show, Kobot. Yeah. I'm going to punch him one time, run for a little bit, punch him again, run for a little bit. You know what I mean? If he wrestles, bro, you know. Can we? This has got to happen. <laughs> You think he would do it? I think he would do it. I think he's down. Dude, would you piece him up, honestly? You're yeah, retired. I mean, they are both retired. I think he's down. He's not a pussy. Unless he's a pussy, he wouldn't be down. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I'd piece him up for sure. Boxing, me, shop. Yeah, I mean, fuck. Weight doesn't even matter in that situation. You know? I think, how much does he and weigh? And he's if he does weight, get the best yeah? of me, I'm calling Big, bro, I'm calling big Brother Lewis. He's 238. 6'4", 238. Man. Yeah, this is going to happen. Are you going to glove touch? Hell yeah. <laughs> I just want to know bro. Bro, I'm not going to stop glove touching. That's yeah. I know. But he's retired. He's my guy. He could retire. This is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was so mad about that. I had to joke about it because I was really irritated. I wasn't that mad about it. I love that guy. Well, you should because he retired you, but not for that reason, people think. Yeah. That's the crazy I mean, part. Why did he really retire you? I mean, just because, you know, he put me in a very good spot in my life. That's awesome. So, you know, it's like. We love that guy. I'm actually thinking about getting a poster of that guy hung up, like right in my restroom. Cause I'm in my restroom every day, so I just want to look at him. The throne, and be like, <laughs> you're on the throne. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. I we I will wear a Tremaya shirt next time if you do that on yeah. the podcast. And I, I mean, I, I only made fifty thousand dollars for fighting the guy, but yeah. I'm rich now. So yeah. that fifty G's, baby. Got the bonus money. Fifty G's, baby. Let's go. That Are was, you considering that, was that before the fight? What? Retirement. Like, was it anywhere no, in the got, head? In I your got head 50 at grand. I was like, fuck this. I'm done now, baby. That's it. I've never got this much money before. Ever. Oh, God. Yeah. 50 G's. How, 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 how did that let's, let's talk, How did that happen? Now you're retired. How the hell did that go down? I was sitting there, like, like real talk. I was like all geared up, getting ready. Like, yeah, I'm going to be fighting D Rod or yeah. maybe Wonder Boy. And then, like, I'm like sitting on the shitter, like always. Like, I shit a lot, guys. So I'm sorry there. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, so, here, well, just real quick. Most people actually do their best thinking on the toilet. So there it on is. The throne. Yeah, yeah, because I'm, because it, I'm it, thinking you're, clearly. You're by yourself, yeah. and yeah. there's no distraction. And, yeah, and you're letting shit go. And you're letting things go. Literally, exactly. Letting shit go. So, letting so shit go. when you're letting things go, you're able to receive. Yeah. So I, I seen some Disney shit I didn't like from. while taking a shit. Literally, <laughs> so, did see some shit you didn't like yeah. on the shitter. So talking shit. I'm like, Imagine I'm thinking that. like, you know, I haven't got my fight yet. So I'm thinking like, you know, that guy obviously doesn't want to fight because me and that guy had a message back and forth and he was like, we'll see. So then I see D-Rod's fight, Neil Magny. And like instantly I look down, my excuse my language once again, you might have to bleep this part out. My period starts, you know what I mean? And I just start tweaking out and I'm like, you I know understand what? It. Throw fits, I, not flags. And Fuck then, it. Yeah. And then I look yeah. at my account and I'm like, my 50 grand hit and I'm like, Fuck yeah, let's go. You know, they zell you. Yeah, yeah. he zelled me fifty k. You know, cash like, app. 
And you're like, I'm out. I was out. like, I'm out. You know what I mean? But so how does that? But how does that fight? How does the Neil Magny D Rod fight? I thought that. I thought I was gonna get D Rod, so I got emotional, and I quit. I fired. I got well. I retired. Yeah, you retired. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So did the plus? I'm about to be thirty, bro. Like, you know, yeah, it's you know. past your prime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did the, the uh, after? Now that you're retired, we could talk about this. The Chamaya. How did that happen? Because you know, oh. for shots we pieced up. How did so you, you were there? And I look, I remember I, I was there with my pregnant wife. We we're chilling. And I'm like, it's going down. I remember Clippers. Would the Clippers start? You said you're going to give him, trim his nasty ass beard or something. Okay. Or something, so yeah. I'm sitting in the car, right? I'm riding. And I hear somebody say something about me trimming Chamaya's beard. Mind you, I don't, I don't run all my social media sites. I run my Instagram 24 7. I'm on Twitter every once in a while. So, hey, if you're you one know? of the ladies and you want to get in the DMs, don't get into Twitter. You're going to get to Twitter. Yeah. Don't go to Twitter. Don't go to Twitter. Nobody's on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, some dude hit you talking about Hody Juice. Yeah, you know? he's like, meet me. He's going to get Chris Holland Hansen. Juice. Yeah. It's Hody Juice, so don't do it, okay? Uh, but, yeah, so everybody's like, yeah. Like, and then like, see this like little Twitter post on like IG, and I'm like, you motherfucker, bro. And so I'm like hitting him up, hitting up my manager like, who would you tweet? And he's like, it's good, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? And oh, like people are going crazy. Or a little snake in the Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, shit, little Ali Jr. It's like, this yeah. shit's pretty good. You know what I mean? So I wasn't mad about it. You know, I liked it. You know, I was going to run with it. I run with it. You know, I never said it wasn't me the whole time I was there. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Whatever. It is what it is. Uh, so I see him in the back. I guess he's walking up to me. Remember, last time we were in the hotel, we were having a conversation and he pushed me. So I was like, "What did he push you for, though? Wait, like, he couldn't have pushed you for having a conversation." We were like, "He looked on the <laughs> IG and he goes, he goes, is this you?' Because I had something about wearing a mask, right? And I was right. You should be wearing a mask. You know, it's like it was a pandemic. Like, you should be wearing a fucking mask." And so he was like, "Why you say this?" I was like, "Bro, he was like, you know, it's a joke. You're gonna put the card in jeopardy." And I think it was like a language barrier. Maybe he thought I said something else. You know what I mean? And then so he pushed me. So when he pushed me, you know what I mean? I gotta I'm, hate him back. I get mad. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, 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 and so like they break us up and stuff. And uh, and where was this at? This is at the hotel, the fighter hotel we used to stay at, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So pandemic. this was, but like what Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah, this was like yeah, it was probably like yeah, it was for sure a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah right. I think it was Wednesday. And so Cerrone comes out there and he's like, "You two young guns, break it up." And like he's all cool, got a cowboy yeah. hat on and shit. He's gotta, he's like, yeah, he's he, he did like, his voice so well. Man. I'm like, I don't know, but I was like, I was like, damn, that feels dope. Yeah. And so I was like, all right, cool. You know, I was like sat down. Then I started thinking for a second. And I was like. Damn, I was like, I know he the OG and everything, but I was like, he kind of punked me right there. He made me sit down like a little bitch. So then I was thinking, I was like, I need to get that Cerrone fight. But I was quiet because I was still mad at Jemaya. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we were beefing. So, <laughs> yeah, I was like, but then I did my little interview, and my interview, it was trash because I was so mad. So then when I went upstairs, I got even more mad. And so, like, then I seen his interview, and he called me the help. But, like, that's besides a fact, you guys. Let's go back to where we were, like, backstage, okay? Because you will get me going for, like, a good 40 minutes on that subject. So we were backstage, he walks up. You remember, like I said, last time he pushed me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get my push back. So I push him. He goes back a few steps. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was good. That was real good. Oh, shit, here we go. Here we go. So he's coming back up, right? And so I'm like, all right, we pull these pants up. You know, I had a little sag going on for the outfit. Pants was kind of tight. They wasn't fitting right. Yeah. The belt, you know what I'm saying? It was a shoestring. Yeah. So, you know. Skinny jeans. Yeah, right. you know, maybe yeah. like, I can't wear those no more because the knots don't fit. But, uh, you know, 50 G's, baby. Uh, so, Buy some you know, new ones. Yeah. So, you know, he comes up. And he's like, Ch-ch-ch. I'm like, Ch-ch-ch. and he throws a little kick, and I'm like, kind of like scrapes my Burberry, you know what I mean? Nice little push kick. Ugh. Is the Burberry okay? Burberry was fine, okay, good. but I was mad because I thought the Burberry was fucked yeah, up. Yeah, and the chain. You gotta be careful some shit yeah, like the, that. You're like playing good. games, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you when you're in a situation like that, bro, you don't even try and swipe the kick. You try and swipe your chain. Like no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Then I'm trying to approach him. Security comes grabbing us and shit. So, boom. You know, that's the end of that. So, did he kick you? It was a front kick? Yeah. He... Why did they show that, though? They look like you got kicked. They didn't show the push, though. That's just okay. It doesn't yeah. matter. You know what I mean? And it's like, all right, cool. They juiced up the fight. We all cut weight. I cut weight like a professional. Next thing you know, I get a call. You want to fight your mouth? I'm like, shit. You're going to give me 50 Gs, baby? Yeah, Let's so go. You, so, you so, went from 25 yeah. to 50 overnight. Yeah. yeah that's you know, amazing. Like, $25. Yeah. I made $25. And then here yeah, you go. I'm making 50. You know what I mean? So. And the co main event. Yeah. Cool. And now retired. Oh shit! Yeah, retired. Opening the gym in Fort Worth. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. What's the timeline the team. on that? I mean, like, it's not like really opening anything. I'm just gonna really like team up with the team, and just put Add a system to together. Yep. Yeah, that's for the DFW. You DFW I mean? needs that. Yeah. The lack fighter gyms. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now that you're retired, let's talk about. I want to know who is your top three favorite. You gotta take Jemai out of it. 
Who's your top three favorite UFC fighters since you're retired? You can't say Brendan Schwab either. You can't. Can you he say himself? Say. He's retired, so no. Get right. active, 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 active. active. All right. active. <laughs> Adrian Yance, uh, stud. Derek Lewis. Ooh, Houston uh, guys. Yeah, well, you know. Texas, well, you te- yeah. Texas Texas strong, strong, all Texas, Texas yeah. Uh, the balls is very, very hot. <laughs> and you know what? It's like the third one. It's like I like. I really do think a lot of like fighting styles. I think a lot of guys are like good fighters and stuff like that. Uh. Like you say, like like their fights, like the way they fight and stuff. Yeah, like who do you, if if you were if you were a fan watching? Yeah, so for sure, three? for sure, those two. Those Derek two. Lewis, Adrian Yans, yeah, like you know, Lewis, boom, my boy bangs. Adrian Yans, boom, my boy bangs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then third, uh, like I think Mackenzie Dern has really good jujitsu, so I like watching her fight. Is that why you like watching her fight? Yeah, that's why I like. Is are you fight. sure? Is that why you like watching the fight? Yeah, okay. Do you have a poster <laughs> on your wall in the shitter? Is it going to be Chamaya and Mackenzie Dern? No, bro. No? no? I mean, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Nah, come on. Don't do that to me, guys. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Bleep that part out. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, yeah. We're good. It's, you know, I just, I like her jiu-jitsu. I've always been a fan. You know? yeah. I like that. Me too. I, I believe you, too. Oh, I believe you. So let's, let's go. What about you? Your top three of all time. Oh, man. Uh, I like Wonder Boy. Um, I, I like, like Wonder Boy. Yeah, I like watching him fight. Hmm. I like his fights. I like I like stand up fights. Um, hmm. I like technical fights. Hmm. Um, <laughs> 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 I mean that's just that's just yeah. Me. Um, I like Wonder Boy. How do you hate Wonder Boy? Really though, if I like, I'd want my daughter to date a guy like Wonder Boy. Definitely I know not a guy he's, like a, he's such like, a cool guy. Like but I saw the interview, he goes, "Gosh dope. darn it!" <laughs> and then who's another yeah. one? Um, Thug Rose, I like watching her fight. Ooh, I Rose love watching one. her fight. Yeah. And oh man, this is, it's so hard to choose a third one. I can't say Lewis too, because I mean, yeah, but this is yeah, Derek Lewis is the fucking man. Yeah. So like who wouldn't? Who wouldn't Lewis. agree? Yeah, you can't yeah. say with that. Lewis. All right, so you're gonna say Lewis? Okay. Lewis. I would say Lewis too. I yeah. I love. I think we saw just. I, I like. I like. <laughs> I really, He's everybody's really one at least. Like yeah. Watching Lewis, he's legit. And look, man, I, I fucking love watching John Jones. Like. Yeah, he's just legit. Hey man, he's legit. Like best of all times ever, right? It's like uh, for me, it's hands he, down. Khabib shouldn't even be in the conversation. There's no disrespect, but he should be in the conversation because he do enough. To me, it's got to be Silva and John Jones. Oh, I mean, like, but the thing about it is, is like it's it's hard to say he shouldn't be in the conversation because he could easily come back and win and, it all. And yeah, let's say he fought at 170 pounds and was like, you know, I think I could beat Leon. <laughs> and then came back and, and when he, he beat smoke Leon. Leon, yeah, and like just smoked him, smoke him, and then you'd be like. He could be the goat. Yeah, you'd be like. Yeah, I'm not saying he couldn't be the goat. I just think that for his resume, he's not. When you compare yeah. the body of work, John Jones never lost a fight outside right. of he's only cocaine, lost to himself, cheating and uh, yeah. legal strike. Yeah, he's only lost to himself. You know what I mean? And and cocaine's not cheating. You know, it's like people can say what they want to say, but it's like you shouldn't. even You should get an cocaine. extra bell for fucking doing cocaine, <laughs> failing to drug test, and still beating your ass. <laughs> I wouldn't wonder, but I. He should never been tested for cocaine. Yeah, you know, Why? it's like it's like but, it's not a performance enhancer. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like, worse. Yeah, if you're doing if you're doing cocaine yeah. allegedly, yeah. Uh, it's like it's bad. Yeah, why are if you're fighting and you beat a world champion? It's like in the streets, you're not gonna go home and say, "Yeah, I got my ass whooped by cocaine." You're like you're yeah. just gonna just they're gonna no. say what happened to you. You're like I got jumped. Why in baseball do they not te- uh, test for cocaine? Because they don't want to know that this guy's been doing all night benders and then still couldn't hit a back. fucking baseball. Yeah, I would think it's yeah. not. It's really not a performance enhancer. I mean, I don't see why it would be. I feel like it's a. It's it coke. has to be an enhancer for your difficulties, your cognitive functioning, right? Which in that case, I think would help your fighting. It's just strobe lights. We gotta have a better. I. I mean. I mean, I don't, I don't know. know. I'd have to. I'd have to read studies on that. I've never done cocaine. I'm just I mean, saying that either, I don't think it would. You would help you your fighting. You guys have never done cocaine. Never. No. I smoke what? a lot of weed. I'm like I'm like Wonder Boy out in these streets. I feel like I'm. I smoke a lot of weed. Like a lot. I've done it, but I, I don't do it anymore. Time. Okay, I just try it. I'm a good guy. Cool. I'm not saying anybody should ever do that. Especially without like professional around, but yeah, but smoking weed, I I enjoy weed, you know. Especially oh, when I'm in California, we're like a legal state. You know? That's where you're from, right? Where are you from? Yeah. What part of Cali? Yeah, uh, the part where you smoke weed. <laughs> that's like, every part. part. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Ontario. That's like the, that's, my bad. That's the, that's the every part. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Ontario, California. Yeah. So Kevin Holland is really retired. Yeah. A no, but less. You get on Brandon Schwab. Podcast and he goes rounds, but then it's like a, it's kind of like that Exhibition. Floyd, yeah, Exhibition. Well, yeah, it's not yeah. going on the record. Doesn't even count, you know. That's it. You can still pay me if they want to, but doesn't count. Do you want to coach? Do you want to manage? Do you want to do anything regarding? 
yeah. fight stuff other than a gym? You know what? Honestly, I would love to manage. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to get in the management field. Like I said, I, I constructed it all. I constructed a deal for fifty. You know what I mean? Fifty bucks. Like that's a pretty G's, good deal, baby. Let's go. You know, no, I think I've gotten paid decently. Like I'm not even talking about UFC stuff right here. Like I think I've gotten paid decently in my career. Uh, sponsorships. I've always tackled that pretty well. Um, even when I was like local, you know, it's like getting my own fights. You know, lining those things up, making sure Show I got me. paid right. It's like I always did pretty good. Yeah. You know, it's like I've always done pretty good for myself. I got paid for jujitsu matches that I probably shouldn't have got paid for. So it's like, yeah, I've done pretty good. So uh, I, I can do it. I want to see this drop fight. I think we should do the podcast on the <laughs> ring. I don't know why I'm sold on that. Uh, I mean, because it's a good idea. I'm yeah, right. <laughs> Rogan from Fear Factor could could announce it. Yeah, I'm 100 percent with you. <laughs> awesome. This would be great. What do you think about the fights coming up? What do you uh, got? I got. I got McKenzie. The pay, pay, per, pay per view fight. We got. Oh, what, next pay per view. Well, there's a fight card. There's a fight, oh, there's card a this fight night. Yeah, this I got weekend. McKenzie Dern. Of course you do. Yeah, I wouldn't. She's not even fighting, but she still got her on the card. No, she's fighting. No, I'm she's fighting. What she's about fighting the pay per view? Uh, <laughs> what do you got? We got Sterling. That's a, that's a really Sterling. Big, that's a really big pay per view against Dillashaw. Yeah, I got Sterling. I got Aljamain for sure all day. Kale gang. Mm. You're not going snake mm. Dillashaw, are you? You are. Am I going to snake him? No, it's you know it's so hard for me to. I think she's going Dillashaw. I think she's Team Dillashaw. I think I'm Team. Your team, Dill- I, I can't stand oh DJ Dillashaw. That's another guy. Aljamain Sterling to me is—I know he's a champion. This sounds dumb. You don't want to say somebody that's champion is over is underrated. I think he's underrated. Yeah. His wrestling is freaking phenomenal. Really he is it wrestler. is phenomenal, and he's a good striker. Yeah. He is a pheno- phenomenal wrestler. I think he's super underrated. Actually, I think he's going to expose Dillashaw in this fight. I mean, shoot, Aljamain was my wrestling coach for the Chimaya fight. We only had one day to work, but that was my wrestling coach. No, I'm just okay, so he's not that good I'm of a wrestler. I take it back. I just played. I just played. Play. Play. The great I'm look. You playing. had Khabib. Listen to this. So you had oh, Al Jermaine in the, hey. and you had Khabib in the. Uh, who was that? That was I the, had Khabib in the Brunson fight. Brunson fight, and right? I broke a record, bro. So, you know, <laughs> you, you tried. Khabib was laughing. DC was laughing. That's one of my favorite moments in all of UFC ever. That was good. <laughs> that, was, that was incredible. <laughs> what about the, what about uh, the O'Malley fight? Got Sugar Sean. Me too. Liam? Yeah. I got Sugar I Sean. I, I think I think he's gonna do a lot better than people trying to give him credit for. I think he's long. I think he has really good striking abilities. I think that's a striking match. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if Peter Yan try to you know get him down just because uh, Peter Yan has some really good trips and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, dealing with the length of uh, O'Malley could prove to be difficult. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's somewhere in the game plan for him. But uh, yeah, Sugar Sean's smooth, and uh, I think solid hands and. Uh, Everybody's, he knows everybody's trying to kick the leg. So, uh, you know, yeah. yeah. I think it'll be like pretty good. I think, I think Sugar's there. Yeah. And what about uh, Oliver? They're fighting for the belt, right? Because right now it's yeah. vacant. So it's Oliver. So it's Oliver the champ. And Khabib's little yeah. brother. No, yeah. Oliver's not even the champ, is he? I he mean, trip. he is, but he's. The champ has a name, and his name yeah. is Oliver from yes. the Bronx, baby. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? The Bronx. Yeah. Against uh, Khabib's little brother. Little brother or little I cousin? I got the champ. I think the champ gets it done. I think the champ. I think the champ's really, really on a good hot streak right now. Yeah. And I think overall, like he's a more complete fighter. And I know that's probably not smart to say because you know, I mean that's Khabib's little bro. You know, and he's they say he's he's better, not they be say he's better than Khabib. No, you know what I mean? come but on. Khabib's the undefeated one, so it's kind of hard to say that. You're uh, gonna go against your wrestling coach like that? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think. I mean, I think. I think that guy makes mistakes. You know what I mean? I think Khabib's little brother makes mistakes. I, I think. Oliveira makes mistakes, but I think he eats those mistakes and then turns into a monster. After. You better not make a mistake against Oliveira. Yeah, so whether it's a grappling mistake or a striking mistake, he makes you pay. Makes Big you shots pay. and great submissions. Yeah. So, yeah, dude's a monster. So, we'll see. Who do you got? I'm going to ask you. Who do you have? Yeah, you can't go <laughs> Dillashaw again. You can't go. <laughs> I got, I think Oliveira wins. I think Oliveira will get caught, and I think Khabib's little brother will take him to the ground when he goes down and make a mistake, and he'll get choked out yeah i think he's gonna get choked out in the second round i'm even gonna call the round i think he's gonna get i think Oliver is too round? good i think it's gonna be a filling out process i think yeah. they'll they'll probably roll around a little bit but i think in the second round he's i think he'll catch Oliver. Oliver has been gets caught i think he'll get caught i think it'll go to the ground i think almost Oliver like plans those even like every fight he gets caught yeah and he goes to the ground 
and then he taps the dude out. Look, the Chandler fight, he was beat. He got rocked. Yeah, he was getting, like, completely wrecked over. And he chose that was a fun, fun fight. Yeah. I was live for that. I was there, too. Houston. Yeah. That was Derek yeah, Lewis fight. Yeah. 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 That yeah. we were there. That's crazy. That boy was fly, too. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yes, yeah, yeah. always. I took a little one with him. He was yeah. on the Jumbotron. Connor was on the Jumbotron. He was there. T- your boy's on the Jumbotron. I was like, what? Look over. My son's dancing. He goes, God, come on. Oh, that's cute. Man. Yeah, he's up. So I got I got Oliveira. Second round, tap out. He's going to choke him out. Okay. I do have Oliveira, but I don't know if it would be a second round or not. I got first round. You got first round? I'm going against the green. Ooh. I'm that confident. You think you could piece up Schwab in first round? I mean... Are you th- look, would it go three decision? Rounds, right? Three uh, rounds. No, nah, I think I drop him in the third round. You think you drop him in the third round? Yeah, I'm calling it. What is it? It's going to hear that like 10 second bell and he's going to be like, oh, good shit, bro. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> You're going to go for the glove touch and payback. <laughs> Man. Third round. Hey, good shit. Boom. Oh, oh. Hey, yeah. hey, I was, I was jabbing. I was checking. Let's go. Uh, set it up nice. Let's bro. go. Set it up nice. So what so we learned? Do it in the end so people can see the fight. Yeah, yeah you get. A, we'll I like it the though. Dub. I like it because it, it's that it's that teamwork. You're going to the third round. You're like, hey, what's good? I like, hey, good, good, yeah. solid two rounds. You go for that glove touch. <laughs> you just stri- yeah, just like I just like you know what I mean. It's gonna be a natural reaction. Like he yeah. goes up, sorry, back. Bah, bad, I thought bro. he was trying to hit me. You know yeah, I, mean? I thought he yeah. was. I didn't know we were glove touch. Yeah. Who, who glove touches the third who, round? Who glove touches anymore? Yeah. You know <laughs> what I mean? Do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, period. That's freaking awesome. That's against the rules for now. But uh, what else? What else? I was gonna say something. What do you guys think about that Bobby Green thing? Have you seen it? Have you heard about that? Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, Bobby Green doesn't take drugs. Yeah, and why? Green but what am I, I'm missing something. Can, can we? Can Bobby we? Bobby Green failed the drug test. Yeah. Uh, said he had too much something in him. Or he took something. It wasn't something like over, was it, but it's like over the counter though. Yeah, he gets it from Walmart. What? Yeah, it's crazy. Can we just stop it. all that in general? Like, but if something's over the counter, really? Yeah, I mean, I, like a I wonder like, what the substance on, was that showed up. On Undisclosed. Because he did a whole thing on his on his. Uh... But didn't they have they haven't even tested Conor McGregor this year? Did you no, see that? not not at all. No, no. Why though? He's in uh, the testing pool. Yeah, but you know, I think he might have doctor's notes because of the leg and stuff like that. Yeah. Give me one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get that doctor. Dude, when I first joined the UFC, I was so scared. Because you, of that? Yeah, I, like I didn't even like I didn't want to take Tylenol. You did Red Bull, nothing. No. Yeah. Yeah, I was like water. Oh, was it that? For a cool minute. How many times have you been like... tested? I, mean, I don't know. Not enough. I probably should just unretire or just stay in the testing pool so I can get that jacket. I just want the jacket. You know, I do pretty much anything for clothes. So yeah. It's, it's a fun. fresh kicks. Yeah. We should come up with our own kicks. Real eyes yeah. kicks. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, mean, I would say do the eyes kick? on the back, but they just they did those mummy SBs and they have the eyes on the back. Do eyes on the front. Those are clean. Yeah. So we, we definitely need some kicks and some gear. So just like when they shoe comes together, you can see the eyes on the toes. Like, I'm in it. <laughs> Yeah. Looking at me. You just gotta stand like that the whole time. <laughs> you know, you sit like this. You know what I mean? Just yeah, you sit, you sit like this. You know, with the camera. Hey, look at look at my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd see you. What are, we just gotta we do get, a hat. Who we get, who we gonna who we gonna have on? Who are we looking for? Because this is the first episode. First episode. Yeah. You know what? Introducing. We're having it since you're retired. Now you got a lot of time on your hands, and we're out here. I, I'm fucking thinking about retiring too. I'll yeah. be honest with you. My my biggest goal, you know. uh we should, we should try and do this. I know people do podcasts like all year long, but we should try and do seasons. Yeah. You know, like my first season, like my biggest person that I want to get her biggest goal, like biggest name, I should say, would be Dana. I want to get, I want to get the ball. Uncle Dana. I would Dana. Love to get the Are you listening? Season. Dana. Dana. Yeah. You know you want to. Let's go to him. Yeah. They, yeah. What, <laughs> what can he say? We just show up. Just pop up. Hey, bro. Yeah. Come on, my guys. Let's go. <laughs> tell, hey, tell him. Dana, Kevin wants to talk to you about this retirement thing. And yeah. so could we just get a minute? So Dana, that's 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 the big. I, I actually, I actually just got I got a PRP shot on my shoulder like right after the fight, just trying to get some old injuries back. Right. Uh, yes, I'm retired. I know. Retired. I know. I know. Just want to live a healthy life. I get it. I actually go out to the PI uh, next week. Next week I go out to the PI. I don't. I don't know if they still accept me. Now that I'm retired. I don't. Uh, do they? Do they? Do they accept you? If not, so I can just roll up in there. Just like, yo, hey, I'm I'm here. Yeah, like, who are you? I'm retired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. I mean, like, yeah. I wonder if they're gonna let you in. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I think I think until I'm out of the testing pool, I'm still then you're still good. Yeah. So the goal, we want Dana's the big. Who else do we want to get on? We want, we want to get on. Look, really though, seriously, all bullshit aside, we want to get on some up and coming names, yeah. big names, athletes, into the football, basketball, obviously MMA. Yeah. So I mean, Ooh. actors. You know, talent. Just want talented people, yeah. musicians, artists. Doesn't matter if you're providing something. And really, I know for me, I love to get back, and I know you do. 
Uh, I think that was one of the biggest things that connected me to you was, you know, we get a lot of stuff thrown at us. And I was like, man, I just don't like dealing with people that aren't good people. And then yeah. I saw you constantly giving back and doing stuff. And that's what I like to do. And so people that are giving back. And then what I think is really fun, too, for all this is the seasons. But then the road trips, right? Like, yeah. And not just, just going random places. We go yeah. to, let's go to, let's find the flyest shoe place and go. Let's find the flyest place and go interview them, right? Yeah. Somebody making custom shoes or somebody making custom gear, custom we chains. Gotta get, we got to get my boy from... The closet, you know, Oren's always talking about that guy. Yeah, so we gotta get him. <laughs> we gotta get we we go to him, see what he's doing in his world. I think that's the thing too. We can go out and then look. I think for me, what I want to do, I want to bless some people along the way. I want to bless some people that don't have the opportunity like to get blessed. Ooh, I love like that. It. Go bless some people. Like, like let's go like to it. let's go to let's go to Vegas and let's interview somebody up and coming, and then yeah. let's bless somebody out there. Yeah, doesn't I have like the it. opportunity, right? I like it. I like it. That's what we need yeah. to do. You know, I always like helping people out that need it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So find some single moms or something like that. You know, bless that's, that's always fun. 100% bless them with some free Don't gas. You're laughing because I said yeah. single moms. Huh. These guys, <laughs> these guys <laughs> think so low. <laughs> me it's so bad. <laughs> hey, but it's only up from here. It's, it's only, it's up, only up, up. Single man. moms. What about Look, what about single dads? Uh, you know, they need help yeah. too. Yeah, single yeah. dads need yeah. help too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna help the single mom and maybe she'll find a single dad out there. I don't yeah. know. You know, right. this is this is why we brought a dare on so that way we can stay neutral. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? She, it's she like, hates it right now. She's know? like checking her phone, like, yeah, like she's got life alert on. <laughs> no, I'm good. But yeah, we gotta bless some people. Yeah. So what's like up with this liquid dev, bro? I never tried this liquid death before. Dare you ever try liquid death? Nope. Liquid death, it's uh alcohol. No, it's actually not. It's water. Oh. And so it's up and coming, sparkling bro. water, regular water. I'm retired. I don't want to drink water. I've been, I'm invested. It's liquor. Are there? It's different, not. It's really like, water. So that's have, sparkling water. They got different. They they got different. Like you know, they look different. So yeah. do they taste different? They do. I mean, so severed lime. It's death to plastic. That's the black is soda. sparkling water. Soda. That's just regular water. And then this is bury it. And then you got mango. Berry. So if you do the berry with some vodka, All right, it's like well, a Red Bull vodka. Oh. This is soda. <laughs> Sparkling water. It's yeah. grown up soda. Yeah. This is bougie soda. Oh, I can smell oh, it. smells good. For sure, for sure. Soda water. Mm-hmm. That's what they call it, right? Soda, soda water. water. Sparkling water. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, sparkling. It's sparkling. sparkling. <laughs> again. See what it says? Sparkling water. Oh. Not sparkling soda. My bad. Naturally flavored sparkling water. It's all good. So that's what. <laughs> Naturally sparkling soda. Soda. My bad. It's really good. I like, I mean, Honestly, please just say you like it if you don't. To be honest with you, <laughs> yeah. I normally don't like sparkling water, but I'm serious. It tastes like it's a soda. It, it's not bad. Death to plastic. Like That's I, whole I like it. I Get like back because I really don't like sparkling water. It says murder your but thirst I, honestly, at the bottom. Yeah. I'll drink this sparkling. Water. You should. I appreciate that. Yeah. I I really normally I don't like sparkling water. Try to get a sp- hey, but this kind of tastes that? like soda. You hit liquid death. This, Give my man a sponsorship deal. This kind of tastes like soda. It's pretty yeah. good. Not you, bad. You, it's really good. Get my man a get my man a sponsorship. <laughs> and I like. Oh, he's retired. He can't get one. Look for the podcast. <laughs> I'm on podcast. IG, guys. I'm still on, I'm still on IG. I, I can always tag your company somewhere in the back of my memes. I got you. It's on there, but but really, we want to get people up and coming. We want to get Liquid Death on. Yes. We want to get people on, and we want to travel. We do want to travel. We're gonna travel all over on us. Yeah. Meet the best across yeah. through the podcast and the yeah. seasons. Yeah. How many I mean, seasons are we gonna do? So they kick us off. <laughs> but we're our own network, so we can't really get kicked off. Yeah, yeah I like it. Let's do it until they kick us off. Yeah, endless. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, endless. Yeah, endless. Let's go. Yeah, YouTube might ban us at some point in time. Probably, probably already did after this. But it's hey, okay. guys, we still have OnlyFans, so you can catch us there too. You still have your OnlyFans? We don't have Only. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Do you still? Is it maybe allegedly? I mean, like. Hey, I really bro, do like this sparkling. Hey, the mic is here. Covering my mic, bro. I have a girl, bro. I can't be on OnlyFans. You uh, can have a girl and be on OnlyFans. You oh, well, yeah. On I still OnlyFans got OnlyFans. What's his name? Huh? What's his name? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm retired. I'm retired. I'm hey, retired. Bro. I'm retired. That's a great answer. <laughs> that is a great answer. I am reti- I'm retired. His name's I'm, Cozy. Hey, hey the, <laughs> the funny part oh is. God. I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. This is the funny part. My wife texts me and she goes, question mark. And no, like when the wife hits you with a question mark, you did some shit. Like, I'm like, fuck, what did I do? Like, I'm like, it's something. Wait, it's just a question mark. It's just a question mark. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm you're sorry. in trouble, right? It's so like I'm, anxiety. Oh, man down, the right? You man down. Like, hey. And she goes, oh, yeah? Another question mark. I'm like, Ooh. oh, we. 
I'm like, my phone got hacked, and she's like, I, I didn't come through yet. This guy post, we're using a beautiful lady for the podcast. <laughs> So my wife's like, oh, yeah, beautiful lady for the podcast. And I'm like, I didn't post that. She's like, you're tagging it. And I go, fuck. And I was like, hey. the thing is, nobody wants to see us all the time. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I don't even it's want like, to see myself. And then we ask probably the same questions. And then she's going to add a question that's not going to be like what we ask. Straight you. dudes, yeah. Yeah. It's and not going to be just bro time. Yeah. Because it, 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 bro time can get pretty. Too much yeah. bromance. Yeah. You don't want some MMA doing. bros just chopping it up and no. doing some work bros. Especially, and, especially not me when I'm retired and always been. Yeah. So you're retired, like you're not really an MMA bro anymore, like a commentary bro. Yeah, yeah, it's not that's good. more right. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody's more confused than a homeless guy on house arrest right now. We don't even know what's going on. It's okay though, it's okay. It's okay to be more. But confused. it was, it was funny. A really good analogy. Uh, you like that? Yeah, I do. Arrest? I'm more confused than a homeless guy on house arrest. Yeah, shit. Yeah. You like that? That little nugget's for free. That's the tip <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Where would you go? Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. I'm on house arrest. Well, okay. Yeah. Gosh. Shit. Now we're sitting here all confused. Just take your it's, box see, everywhere with it was, you. It was, but it was it was the funniest shit because I'm like, I was laughing because I was like, that was the most Kev thing you could post because we had talked about like, yeah, we got to get a female on the podcast. And I'm like, okay, he's just going to post. We're going to put a female on the podcast. He goes, no, we need a beautiful lady. And my wife's like, oh, really? You want a beautiful lady? And she's oh. eight months pregnant. So she, she's like, she oh, could have came says? on the show. She's super emotional. She's beautiful. It, it's just, it was funny. It was hilarious. I thought it was hilarious. She didn't think it was so much no, as funny. You got to sing to her, bro. Yeah. I did try singing her. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do it on the shitter? Be honest. I mean, I do. You know, every once in a while, I call people upstairs while I'm taking a poop, try to talk to them. You know, my son gets so offended. I don't know why. How old is your son? He's, he's nine. He's nine. Yeah, he's like, he gets offended. Stinks up here. I'm like, dude. You. <laughs> like, man, I changed your diaper. You know. Yeah. It's payback. You shouldn't be bothered. Your son has. And the he's best standing on the, the other side of the door, and he's like, man. Man, I could smell it. Yeah. He's like, like, how long are you in there Aww. for? I'll be having the shower running. Shower and shit. Shit shower. I, I, you have, I think that I, I, you know what I notice? If, like, if I put it on hot and I steam I'm it up. There no, too you long, don't do that. It's like, yeah, A, it smells a little weird when I get up. And then oh, B, it's like, by the time I do get in the shower, it's like still steamy for some reason, but the water's not hot anymore. And I'm like, what the? F-? So, wait, did you, you know how, like, so when the you air is hot, not the water. That's what it is. That's not good. Yeah. Because you know why. <laughs> you ever got in your car and you leave food in there and it smells real bad? Heat. Yeah, yeah. I never, I never do that. Yeah, bro. that's for. That's kids. what you're doing. I'm about to be 30 now. <laughs> yeah, and retire. Are you gonna get a so? Do are you eligible for social security now, or is that just an age thing? Damn. <laughs> I'm. I don't know because he's retired. I'm asking. I'm not using. I this. actually, I actually asked the doctor if I could get a handicap sticker now that I'm retired. Uh, for no real? Dice. Dude, I'm trying to park closer. No. They, what do they say? What do they say? <laughs> no. Yeah, he said I'm not handicapped. So the shoulder. I mean, yeah, he said that's not my legs. Sorry, I think he's just you're gonna piss asshole. off so many people if you get a handicap. Yeah, that's and I feel you like, park and you walk out that motherfucker like nothing's wrong with you. Bro, I will hold my shoulder <laughs> the way to the freaking. We just door. talked about giving back to people. Now we're talking about scamming the system for handicap stickers. <laughs> Look, all in one show. Oh, speaking of handicap, I have a question for you guys. So, no, seriously, I thought. Oh, about wow. This. So, wow. <laughs> I've thought about, I've thought about this before. This is oh. bad. So, why is it? Why is it that the handicap stall is at the back of the restroom instead of at the front? Don't you think it would be better if they had it closer to the door than making them go all the way to the back of the bathroom? No, because like you got to think about it. Like so, like if they roll in, like, don't talk he, about this. Like you helped make this decision. Yeah, I feel like he did. <laughs> just, He's got a lot of time on his hands. Being tired. He's before, like, actually, you know, I'm the one that I came up with the, no, with the that design of shit? bathrooms. They can't like restroom. instantly turn. You know what I mean? So like they need to come in. Make the turn, and they can't make what? another turn. No, no, no. Well, you know how you come in. To, like, and there's... roll further down. Oh, my God. And then make the turn. Like, you ever make a U-turn in a big vehicle? It's yeah. easy to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So big you body. have to, like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to, like, yeah, right? You have Here to. Here we go. Hold on. Like, make it, Is like, there an wider. answer for there's this? A, there's an answer. I've actually really wondered this. There's an answer, I, I believe. If you, uh, that, that was a good answer. I mean, like big trucks. You know? Well, that so more yeah, people answer. My first ask vehicle this was a suburban. It was a nine seater, and See? when I was in high school, yeah. we used to hot box that bitch out. It was See, a great time. You never bust quick U turns in there. You can't. No, you can't. So it's just same thing. But who's like, who's doing U turns <laughs> in bathrooms? Though that's my question. But like the door, like so, like if I was like if I was like, so if, I, if I wheeled in and I turned right, like it's like like if I wheeled well, the in, the style's not like, right by the front door. You got you got like sinks. maybe two sinks at yeah. least. Maybe, you know, depending on how ba- big the bathroom is, maybe you have like six, I don't know. But you have time to go to the first stall. I just, I just feel like it's, that's a, that's more inconvenience for. 
Yeah, just debating it. But oh, so I'm not the only one that's wondered this. Want to know? It's a question. We're gonna get it answered. Season one will be. We'll get that. That question should answered. be. That should be like Ask an everybody episode. Ask everybody. We, we'll be. Look, I. I feel like we will do ten. Ten shows a season. Season one. Be real. Realize. Recognize. Ten's been one of my favorite numbers for a long ten. time. Ten to get in. I changed all my passwords now. Yeah. Now we all. If everybody <laughs> password. Hey, just give it away. Ten. If you want fifty grand, because we know we got fifty. There you go. That, no, but, you can't say that now because now they know that too. My favorite number is not in any of my passwords. Yeah, mine either. Yeah, mine either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ten, ten shows per season, and every season we have a theme. Yeah. That's it. A lot of tips. First one, let's go. I'm in. Ten seasons at ten episodes per season. Yeah, I like ten, that. Ten. Yeah, ten to get in. Let's go. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Ten to get in. So if anybody on, we're vi- who do we invite on first? Dana White, which he, he's probably not coming, but hey. The first one? It's I, don't think he's I mean, he's high. I know, he's but he's going to cut me down. I just don't think he's not coming to Carrollton, Texas. He's you like, know, I don't even know where the fuck that's at. No, we said we were going to go to him. Yeah, so we go to him. That's, we could get him on. Yeah. Run, you're piecing up Brendan Schaub in third Michael, round. Michael Bisping wanted to talk about my retirement. You know, we probably should have had him here today. But he's out of town, so. We'll get him on. Yeah. I think we go. I think I want to go in depth about the retirement. I want to put some. How do y'all feel oh. about interviewing people or having people on the show that you don't really like? Yeah. Cause I like, like talking. I like talking to people that a lot of people don't like. Like who? Six nine. <laughs> if that's one of those people, then yes. Who don't you? Let's let's. Who don't you like? I like. Uh, I like everyone. No bullshit. Come on. There's got to be somebody you don't like. I don't like Derek Brunson. You don't like Derek Brunson. What if you got Derek Brunson? Like Derek Brunson? Zoom in. All right, we gotta have Derek Brunson on the show, and he Derek can Brunson. sit between us. That way, there's some feminine energy I'm going on. In. Yeah, we have to zoom in, and that might get. We don't oh, want to really? see a wrestling match. Dang, it's like Too that. Too soon. Bro. He would wrestle. That's that's all he did. Gosh. He would. I don't, it's not funny I don't, anymore. You know what? I don't, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't like Marvin Vittori. He's no. just drink my drink. Well, yeah, he he's in. Is he in? He's in Diaz's camp. Yeah. No, Marvin Vittori. No, yeah. No. Whose camp is he in? No. I thought he was homies with Diaz. No, he has a really good team though. Really good camp. Really good camp. I like his camp. But that guy is just a meathead. What don't like that, him. What about that guy? Uh, and I totally just don't think so. Y'all gonna help me? The guy that just got kind of like banned from. Social media, uh, because he's too Andrew Tate. Tate. Thank you, Andrew Tate. A lot of people seem to be very opinionated about him. Who's Andrew Tate? You don't know who Andrew Tate? He just did a podcast with Patrick Bad David. What did he get banned for? For speaking his mind. He he talks very openly, and it offends a lot of people. What does he talk about? About the generation not being men, like men, women, all kinds of everything. Things. That's pretty rough. Yeah, he got banned. Yeah, he got banned from. It's yeah. the poor Derek Brunson. Don't like that. I don't like that guy either. Don't like or anybody else outside of UFC, outside of MMA. Outside of MMA? Yeah. No, I'm a pretty nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Don't you don't like. There's anybody I don't like. Yeah, I gotta like have people everybody don't likes outside. me. But you got to have people you don't like. I, no, the people I don't no, like aren't that no. important, so it don't matter. You not to be important. You still hate motherfuckers. Yeah, well, they ain't getting no. on this show. Nobody. No. So Brunson and Vitar are the <laughs> one and two. That's outside fine. of that? No, everybody's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't like other river bros. Fuck those roofers. I don't like roofers. You know, I've I met some like pretty them. I've met some pretty <laughs> shitty roofers in my time. Bro, I you know I can't stand other roofers. I've never bro. had a roof done, but can't stand roofer bros. It's like a march have other roofing bro owners or my Derek Bronson. Like I can't stand like we couldn't do an interview with them yeah, in here. Why can't wrestle, you stand them? Is it just competition thing or or do you, is it a no. moral thing in business? What is it? Uh I don't first of all, I'm not competing with anyone cuz 100% of me wants those dudes to win too. I just don't like that like this bullshit era we live in that like people want to get along. It's like other roof bros, you're trying to take my shit. Yeah. Like if you try to outwork me, you're trying to take stuff from my family. And I'm like, I'm not letting you outwork me. And I just, I, I'm like on that Kobe MJ shit. Like I'm trying to win a championship from my team and the people that I fuck with. And if you're not on my team, man, you're against me and people are, Oh, they're not against you, but you are. I'm not wish you bad things on you. I'm like that. I don't like hate them, but I, I don't, I don't want anything to do with them. I don't want to be friends. I don't want to hang out with them. I don't want to check notes. I don't want any of that shit. I want yeah. my team to win. That's it. If you're on my team, you're eating. Everybody else, man, you should be with somebody that wants you to eat. So it just I feel like yeah, that's across like the board that. in anything. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I feel the same way about like gyms. I guess. Yeah. yeah. So we got people. We're gonna get on a Zoom. We're gonna travel and in studio. Yeah. We got it covered. Yeah. So check it out. Yeah. First episode. We're gonna have it everywhere. iTunes, YouTube, your tunes. Yeah. Only fans. <laughs> Only fans. And we're also gonna have it playing at my house. So realize, recognize. That's it. That's a wrap. <laughs> uh, no, wait. I didn't get to throw my little. I'm just messing with you. I gotta. You know what I mean? I gotta. I'll, 
<laughs> so shout out to all the uh no nah, he's right that's a wrap because i was gonna go a little rated x on you guys here not ready for that he's retired hey guys so i'm retired and uh now that i'm sitting at home sipping pina coladas and uh fucking with bad models on the I, toilet yeah on the toilet like very often uh i don't know what to do so if anybody has something for me to do let me know because yeah what do you want to do uh besides nothing. the gym Nothing. Hey, actually, do you think you might do like real life crime stopping? No, like a neighborhood kind of, you know. No, <laughs> just just when you're in the moment and it happens to be there, you'll Vigilante handle it. But if, just, if not, no, I'm retired. <laughs> oh, you're retired from that too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not you're not chasing any crime now. What have you no. done? No, no, really. What have you done? You stopped a dude that was jacking cars in your neighborhood. Yeah, you. That was an accident. Listen. The most wildest shit is that exactly. actually fun. It, you you took down a shooter it's with wrestling. Shut! Stop Damn. it! What'd you really do? It's wrestling. Yeah, like, you shot was jiu-jitsu. But, but I you choked like, that full out. But you were cool. The dude was shooting. Yeah, I was just calm. Oh, he actually shot. Yeah, yeah, he oh, was shooting up a restaurant, right? Know, all it. all bullshit aside, like that was like crazy. Like I had friends in that area. Like, hey man, like Kevin Holland stopped a shooter. I was like, what? Like no, like the guy was, and not like he had a gun. He actively was shooting. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. Like, another guy grabbed, and he was like, the gun was like waving places. So I just went over there and assisted. You know what I mean? It's like four hands are better than two. You know? I mean, just grab, quick little punch to the wrist, put the guy in a little rear naked choke. You know? We touch gloves. So. <laughs> That's him. why. It, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was like, it was, you know, it was just rela- it was a relaxed situation. You know, we were drinking. It was relaxed. Yeah, we were drinking, eating, you know, I heard bang, I thought champagne bottles were popping, then, you know, people were, like, started panicking, and they started running, but I was... Well, that's because you, you, you live in Fort Worth. So. Yeah, you know, it's like, from Cali, live in Fort Worth. It's like, you know, Normal day. Just, yeah, I'm I was from Fort just Worth, so and, that's why he was chill. Yeah, and then, like, I, you know, running over there, I grabbed a chair, and I got funny things, I, like, really didn't even, like, run, I got long legs, just a couple steps, you know, smooth, got mm-hmm. over there. I'm telling you, bro, I want to play Shaft. I I but you did look it was nice. It was I I think Shaft did what in in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. I think you gotta do those two. Yeah, yeah. That was, so. Pulp Fiction is legit. And like I said, I Mario might Lopez watch that can again do tonight. John Travolta. And there's like great characters in that. You never seen Pulp Fiction? You, you guys never see seen it? it? It does a dance with us. Damn. You gotta You're watch gonna it. That'd be like a great movie to do a, a remix. And you play Samuel L. Yeah. That'd be legit. Yeah. <laughs> Next time we're gonna get you in here with another wig like last time. I got you to wear. We'll do the whole Pulp Fiction thing. A little dance, <laughs> bro. I love that movie. We, I, we seriously needed. We, I, I think you need to do that. Yeah, I mean, huh. you know, if anybody knows anywhere to go to acting school or acting classes or whatever the case may be, you know, let me know. I mean, I guess that's something I, I can do. I can hook you up. Right yeah. time, time. There we go. Look, there it is, guys. We found something for me to do. Besides, we're talking the to a SAG eligible get, actress here. We, oh, oh, okay. mm-hmm. yeah. I know that. I did not. Fun fact of the day. Yeah, you're holding out on us. So we're, so we're going acting. That's a, okay. That's we gotta get next. Get, yeah. Next guest is gonna be an actor, and we gotta go to them. Yeah, we gotta go to them and do some acting. We gotta go. <laughs> Let's go West Side. Yeah. I think you saw it West Side. No. You don't know where you're throwing bang sides at me. Like <laughs> I was like, damn, Coach is with it. I was like, holy shit, it just escalated. He's yeah. doing like, this yeah. for Mario Lopez. Oh, uh, <laughs> we gotta go. We we should. We need to go somewhere that can do act that does acting. Yeah, we gotta get in it. Stunt stunt man something right. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, now that I retired, I could probably go on Dancing with the Stars. Can you Everybody dance? Would you? Retire. Yeah, I really would. Can you dance though? That really? would be cool. No, you can't. I mean, you see me dance. But they teach fights. you, right? Yeah. Like yeah. you have like a whole routine. I mean, I teach you and, you know? No, you can't. You can really salsa? No. But it sounded good. Yeah, I was. I, was, <laughs> I got like, a little two step that I do, and like I do it to every song. Like, like he's country. got his go to move. Yeah. <laughs> but I gotta say though, okay, all all it when you. When you told me you were gonna rap, I said, "Ooh, wee, he's gonna don't, 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 Woodley, please don't." I swear, Damn. I was like, "No, no, no, <laughs> that shit was so fire, though." But you know what? It's like Woodley did great numbers. How? Because it's trash. no offense, because he knocked my ass out. I'm it's not trash. talking shit. It's it's, it's terrible. That's what, that's what I, I, mean. I would get knocked out. Like, so I'm not. That's what they want, but it's trash. Yeah, that like uh, beat your head to the white meat. Like, I think he purposely made it trash. It was horrible. Because some of his other stuff is actually pretty decent. So I think he did. Beat your head to the white meat on purpose to be trash, just so everybody could be talking about. Almost it. like make fun of him. No publicity, bad. It was horrible, by the way. 
Do you I have goals with the rapping thing? Huh? Do you have goals with rapping? No, not at all. You have just, you heard it? I, mean, I got, so I got a little cousin. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about bringing young, talented people in here. Yeah. Maybe we'll bring like three in one day. You know, and it's like, maybe we'll bring him in here and give him, you know, 15 minutes of talk or something like that. And it's Should like, is fire. Yeah, it's like, I, I love the way he raps, and I Sounds just good. wanted to help him get some of my fans. Have you know? heard it? Yeah. It was legit, right? I was, I was, yeah. so I, I, what was worse? The, the, what was worse? <laughs> Woodley's rap or his fight against Jake Paul? <laughs> Like serious, that's a poll. What what was worse, his fight or the rap? He's gonna beat my ass. I mean, he had a bad downfall in fighting. Like from being up here just to like quick, like not quick, but just like a gradual, you know. So that's. But the rap was horrible. I know the knockout by Jake Paul was horrible, but I feel like I don't know what was the worst flop. I'll be honest. I mean, yeah, we should ask that. What was the worst flop? What was his, his boxing career or his rapping career? Oof. I don't even like I could. There's not very many things that I'm speechless. I'm I'm tough on that. Yeah, I don't even want to say anything. Yeah, you gotta say. I feel, you I know. feel bad. No, no, no. What what <laughs> if what was worse, the flop against Jake Paul that he got? I mean, because the one he went to sleep, like he. Got, I think the Jake Paul one would be worse, only because more people are more aware of that fight than they were of his, of rap. his rap, rap career. Damn. So, so in terms of views, I, maybe that one. He should have walked out to his rap song. And then he got the tattoo. Did he really? Oh, he did to get the fight. Oh, he, oh shit! I forgot. So about the Jake that. Paul one for sure. Yeah. Jake Paul's pretty bad. He yeah, went to sleep. I want to. I, I would say he got Nate Robinson, but I think it was worse. It's Jake. Uh, I, got a, I got a better poll. I got a better poll than for the for the fans. What's worse, getting knocked out by Jake Paul, or getting wrestled fucked by Chimaev? Who that? That's, that's not even close. Yeah, it's a it's a good poll. That's not a good poll. That's not a good poll, guys. It was a great poll. I think that was a terrible poll. We're gonna it cut that. Fucking great! Don't <laughs> cut it. It was <laughs> haters. No haters. We'll clip this. I'm gonna drink my we'll soda some more. On social media and have people vote. Is Jake Paul the real deal? Uh, dude, honestly, the kid can probably box. We gave him. We we have gave him enough time. Yeah, to get better at boxing every day. Uh, but I mean, see how dedicated he truly is, right? I mean, at yeah, a certain point funny. in time, you kind of get tired of doing shit. So, yeah, you know, especially uh. You know, you're a YouTuber. So I mean, he is boxing though. I mean, he's legitimately like people. He's, hate, he's looking he, good, but he's not boxing any box. Yeah, he's not boxing any box. Right. What do you think about when it happens with Anderson Silva? That's coming up October what twenty fourth or twenty. That's crazy. Silva's a, a crafty guy who who knows how to uh, throw a solid strike. So uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be fun. Yeah, and you know, uh, I think he. Uh, I hate to say it, I think he probably gets the job done against Silva. Uh, you're going. Jake Paul. No, I'm not. I'm not going for Jake. Paul. No, no, I didn't say. No, no, I'm saying like you. You're. You're saying like if we're polling, if you will, we're going. You're taking Jake Paul on a poll right oh, now. Like you've got to click. It. No, no, yeah, you got to. You're clicking something. You're clicking Jake. If Paul I'm, if I'm just clicking on a poll, you know, it's even numbers. Unanimous. No, you got to put your name by it. Hey, Silver. but you can do it like Google. Silver. You can put Kevin H. So they don't really know it's completely you. Silva. I'm doing Silva. But if, if I'm betting my money, yeah, betting your you money. You know what I mean? And, and these are my last dollars, and I can't afford to lose them. Yeah, you're out of your fifty grand. You know, last... I'm, I'm gonna bet Paul by decision. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Who you got? Silva. I got Silva. I think Spider gets it done. Can we, get, we let's get Jake Paul. I hope on. he does. I watched Silva's uh, debut. You don't like Jake Paul? But we should get him on. It'd be funny. I don't like him at all. Well, that see, you didn't mention him earlier when I asked you people you don't like. That's true. Why don't you like him? I just think like he's disrespectful to the sport. I mean, he said he's trying to do it for fighter pay and stuff, but he said some some pretty crazy stuff. And then I like Dana, so you know. He kind of yeah, thank you boss. for bringing that up. I want to ask you about that since you're a fighter because I've heard that from a lot of professional fighters that they don't, they just don't think he respects the sport. From Jake Paul, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't think he, yeah, just for clout, he's using it for clicks. But isn't isn't most of now? I know there's art behind it. I know it's a career, but aren't the fights that you take isn't it isn't the goal to you know get into that bracket to where you are you know getting those kind of views and that money no matter what hey, you is, know what isn't that the goal i guess it is supposed to be the goal but when i first started fighting it's, i just wanted to fight i just hate I mean? the best quote ever i just like, love uh, to fight yeah it's like and even now till this day it's like what i kind of don't like like it's all the politics that i have to deal with as a fighter to get mm-hmm. the money. Yeah, it's like, so I guess that's kind of why I would go into the management realm to help another fighter not have to deal with those politics and stuff like that uh, and still help them get the most out of it and not always play in the safe role. Play it safe, play it safe, play it safe, but when it's time to attack, it's time to attack. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the fighters are in it. 
just simply because they want to do everything that's smart, kudos to them. They're, that, they're probably really smart at business. They're probably good business people. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to fighting, I can't always make the best business deal because I fucking love to fight. Yeah, so you want to fight somebody. Yeah. And when you put it in front of me, I got to take it. And so now that I'm getting a little older and stuff like that, that's why I can be like, you know what? I can retire because, you know, it's like uh, I came home, my eyes freaking beat red. You know what I mean? You no. Know, Whatever, whatever happens in the fight happens in the fight. But it's like when you come home and those type of things are an issue, and you know your kids looking at you like what the hell? And yeah, looking at you like what the hell? It's like uh, you gotta love fighting, and I love fighting, so I want to go out and do it again. Yeah, they don't. But you're retired. You, they don't want you to go out and do it again. Speaking of politics, if you can answer this question, can you tell me how much power fighters really have? I mean, okay, so what depends. Depends what level of fighting you're at. Top-end right? fighters. So, like, uh, yeah, a popular fighter, depending on how they play their cards, they can have some decent leverage. Mm -hmm. uh, a non-popular fighter, depending on how they play their cards, even if they okay. play their cards right, they have no they have no leverage. They have no leverage whatsoever. Yep. I mean, but, like, you got to think about it like this. We're all employees, mm -hmm. you know, whether we like it or not. We're employees. We might have to find our job every day, or we might be consider ourselves small business owners, and we're just trying to make it until we can finally be able to choose what jobs we want to take. In the beginning, you can't choose what jobs you want to take. You got to go out there and take every freaking job you can get and just be a shark. You know? Yeah. You got to get your name out there. But yeah. it, it is. like, and I, But I think Jake Paul was a little different because he was already famous for being famous. He was already a famous YouTuber. Yeah. So he didn't make, become famous he, off boxing. Greg Hardy. He got to the UFC yeah. off of uh, what some people would consider an easier route. I mean, yeah. like that for some people, yeah. right? So, but he had a name, right? He yeah. sells tickets. But at the end of the day, too, you want those guys on your card, especially if you're getting pay-per-view numbers, right? That's, a de that's why we need Jake Paul to come on because you are an advocate for Dana White, right? Uh, I'm a huge Dana White fan, but Jake Paul's not. You get him on to talk about it. Like, debate, really, fighter pay. Like, you want to debate fighter pay, let's debate it. I'm in the advocate of, as being a business owner, you pay people to perform, man. That's smart. Like, that's very smart. You do. But the fighter in me is still like, no, fuck that guy. Yeah. No. no <laughs> you, still can, you can still can fuck that guy. Right? You can still, and I'll be the ref. I'll be like, you ready? Are you ready? Let's, I'll be in there. No glove touching, but we'll fucking we'll really yeah. go. But he should. If he, look, if the guy really cares about fighter pay, this is the thing. You're talking to a retired fighter. Obviously, you got a huge name in the UFC. Yeah. You're a co-main event. It's like you're you're legitimately, and uh, although you're a Dana Homer, which, right, is yeah. there, he's a, he hates Dana. But there's somewhere in the middle where it says, okay, let's really talk about fighter pay. And if you really want to talk about it, if you really care, then if this goes, if you really care, Jake Paul, what, the, what are you doing about it, though? Yeah. It's like, you know, this cat. That's my question. Because what are you doing? I'm like, I think it's really easy for people to say, pay more, pay more, pay more, when you don't own the, company. the biggest organization, you know, in MMA, period. I mean, yeah. there's so much that goes on behind the scenes when it comes to business and politics. It's very easy to sit out there and say, pay more. And you know you're going to get a visceral reaction from that, from the yeah, audience, get because people, people agree. Yeah, pay They're more, like, well, yeah. Well, yeah you know, pay me more. Yeah. Why can't we do this? Why can't we do that? And it's it's a lot more complicated. So I would, if he did come on, I would like to hear everything behind that. Yeah, what are you doing? It's like, he's, I, like I interviewed a guy the other day, he's bullshit for work. He's like, I like giving back. I like helping people. I was like, great. What, do you, what organizations do you give back to? Oh, damn. He goes, oh, I haven't in a while. I go... What do you do? So many people say that. They're like, I like to help people, but what have you helped? You got ch I exactly. challenge myself that every day. Like, you say you want to do these things, but what are you really doing? Are you impacting yeah. people? Are you helping? So if you are for uh, fighter pay, then what are you doing, Jake Paul, right? Like, hey, I like the narrative, right? Because there should be some people. Look, man. It sounds good. Fighting is a t difficult thing. All BS aside, when I saw you lose, I was fucking distraught. Like, there's a guy behind me. Like, I was about to kill. I was like, dude, shut up. Like, you see somebody working their ass off to provide for their family, provide for their kids. I know what it's like as an entrepreneur. When you're a fighter, you are an entrepreneur because you, yeah. although you're employed by the UFC, man, you have to go train. You're your you brand. have to go be you're there, right? Yeah. And when you see somebody you know personally and you care about and you're like, man, this guy loses his fight, it's, it, it's devastating. You're like, man, I know how hard that guy had to work to get in this position. I see what he does day in and day out, and then he loses. It's not, it's not, it, that, that part's not cool, right? Like, you don't, you don't enjoy that part, but... You hear stories all the time of Dana. He's put fighters up in homes and pays for things when they don't have anything yeah. and tries to put them on, but you can't take care of everybody. Yeah. You got guys that are coming up that haven't done anything. Look you know, look at you. When you first started, you had the mouth. You had all the charisma. You had all the skills, but you hadn't put it together yet. Yeah. Then you started putting it together, and the fights got bigger. The pay got bigger. The components got bigger. 
Dana started being around you more, you're, he's going to take care of you for doing what you need to do. Yeah. But if nobody's yeah. watching you fight and he's not making money, he can't pay you more than the next guy. Yeah. That's why these guys, that's why the Conor McGregor's, the, the, the Anderson Silva's, those guys that used to put butts in seats, they want to watch them fight, right, man? They want to see those guys fight. People want to see you fight. People want to see Diaz fight. And then you just, you can't pay the guy no one's ever heard of the same. That's why yeah, it's 10 to 10. you can't really just give can't give it away. success yeah. like that. And if they get it early, you know, like as soon as they get a little success, you know, they retire. So, so where to go? <laughs> and then they can, they can, they can exhibition. Yeah. Brandon Schwab, and if he plays his cards right, Jake Paul exhibition yeah. won't go against record. So after you beat him, he can still say he's undefeated. Undefeated. <laughs> there you go. He can still say it. Yeah. I I, I want to get him on to Zoom for about freaking fighter pay now. I mean, come on. he's on right now. Paul. Oh, that's not him. <laughs> I thought that was him. I, I, thought, that, like, I thought that was him right there. I want to get him on to talk about fighter pay. So, Brandon Schwab, we're going to him. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even know this yet. He's probably who is this, who's this guy? Jake Paul, we're Zoom. Yeah. Because I don't. I, we're, we're for sure going to get Schwab. We're going to beat Schwab up. I think that sounds fun. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, we're going to have Schwab on for sure. That sounds fun. Yeah. We'll go to him. We'll go. Yeah. Just, we'll reach out to his people. Let's yeah. go. I'll have my people hit your people, and your people can just hit me back up. Or. Your people hit my people back up. Whatever. <laughs> people. Yeah. On your Instagram people. You, well, hold on. Hit me you, on Twitter, and I'll hit you on Instagram, since you're not on Instagram, and I'm not on Twitter. So you got to get your people on Instagram to hit his people up on Twitter, but if you want to hit him up, you got to hit him up on Instagram. Y'all yeah. don't have an easier process? No. Like an either. email or something? <laughs> I ain't got an email. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I say your people, let's, well, I want to make it difficult. Yeah, you make it difficult. Yeah. And then you're going to make them work for it. Yeah. And then we're uh. going to then we're gonna get a little the rap on in the studio. Yeah, we will get a couple of local cats in here. Let's yeah, do yeah, find some tattoo artists or something. Yeah, yeah. Go down to Houston. We go down to Houston to get D. Lou and Giannis. Yeah, and uh, the guy from the closet sneaker spot. I was like the guy from the closet. They just took a turn. I was like, someone's coming out of the closet on the show. I was like, whatever, man. We don't discriminate. Nah, sneakers. Let's talk sneakers. Yeah. You know, I like. I'll get sneakers. <laughs> we let's do that. Let's go to Houston. Yeah. Where are we going to? You're going to Vegas go to Houston, next week. Man. Let's go to Houston next That's week like or the week after. Number. Let's go to week Houston after. and get some new shoes. Week after. I have to go there anyways. Terrence McKinney's going to be there. Get some training in with Terrence McKinney. Hang out with Ooh. Terrence McKinney. Interview Terrence McKinney. Talk wrestling. Terrence He's got a great, great story. story. Incredible story. Yeah. Second chance. He has a great Second story. chance. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a third chance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. yeah. The guy's died like seven times. Yeah. It's crazy. It's a full cat. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has two lives. Second one starts when you realize you only have one. Yeah, he has an incredible Credit story. to him, man. Yeah. yeah. Let's go do that. Shoes, road trip. And he has that yeah. super fast knockout. You know I like knockouts. Yeah. It's the only way. Let's he go. follows me on Instagram. Bragger. <laughs> <laughs> he does not follow me on Instagram. Yeah, oh. I don't think he follows me either. For real? No, I'm just playing. He does. Oh. <laughs> I'm the only one left out here. I'm just playing. I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I don't know if he follows me on Instagram. I, I'll have to ask my people. No, nobody runs my Instagram. I run my Instagram too, but it sounded good. I was just trying to feel important. Here we go. That's it? Are we good? So check it out. Let's go. All right. Real eyes recognize. Yeah. Real eyes recognize. Real eyes. All right, guys. Hey, get you some liquid soda, guys. Liquid soda. Liquid dad. <laughs> liquid dad. <laughs> <laughs>